uh, we could put a star where the L is in walkers, so it could be a naughty word. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, it's fine. I look round and she's just like at a table in a pub. With <laughs> We're just a couple of business anchors. Welcome to the Business Anchors Podcast. This jingle is slightly too long. This jingle is slightly too long. Welcome to episode 32 of the Business Anchors Podcast, the show where two business owners discuss the weird and wonderful world of business. Today we talk about why three people ended up unconscious at a charity walking event we organised, how walking is the new jogging, and Dan will be demonstrating his best impression. Go on, go on, start off with that then. Yeah? You just made that up. Who's that? <laughs> Shut up. No, I, I think I wanted to talk about something positive. Cool. Because I think with this whole lockdown palaver, I think mm. I felt quite negative. Mm. And I think um, last last week we came into work and we both felt a bit rubbish. And then we realised most of our lives currently is sat at a desk, not being very active. Mm. And we've set ourselves a bit of a challenge. And I think with that challenge comes lots of positive things. And I think it's worth sharing with the listeners. Mm. What's the what's how challenging is the challenge, Dan? What's the challenge? I mean, I, challenge. whenever I say it, I have to tear up with, oh, it's only doing this because it sounds stupid, but it's doing ten thousand steps a day. Ooh, stupid. But I know that doesn't sound like much of a challenge, but I think we've, or well, especially me personally, from going to the gym five times a week, mm. I've gotten to the right of doing nothing. Do you know what I? I mean, you saying it's not much of a challenge. I have to admit, I thought it was going to be less of a challenge. Um, but I'm realising when you have a busy life and a lot of that life involves sitting down being busy. So because yeah. a lot of our work, I'm sat down mm. and I've got to do that for a long time. And then uh, when I leave to go home, it's complete dark darkness. And, and you I just want to go chill and not yeah. do anything. And then I wake up the next morning and it's complete darkness and I come <laughs> to the place where I sit down. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'm it's the fitting it's, in, isn't it? Yeah. It sounds stupid. Oh, it's challenging walking 10,000 steps there because it's probably mm. what, like an hour and a half, mm. now 45 of walking. Mm. But when you're you've running a business mm. and you've got loads going on and you're just watching I, Facebook videos like yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I think there are people in jobs, like if you work in a hospital or if you work in a supermarket where Mechanic you're stacking shelves, if you're like, there's lots of different jobs where you, I'm sure you just do your 10,000 steps while you're at work and it's just a daily thing. But I think that lifestyle is so far from ours because our our mm. job involves sitting looking at screens a lot. You, it makes it do you know what challenge. I think's even more important than I, th I don't even think to that doing the ten thousand steps is the thing. Mm. I think it's the the byproduct of of having the discipline to be making yourself do something that's uncomfortable. Not uncomfortable, but like you know, when it's if not, you have not easy. If you've had a well busy day and mm. you get home and it's pissing down with rain. You don't want to go and walk for an hour, do you? But we're going to make ourselves do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I think the, um, it's not just the, like you're saying, not just the walking. I think there's, it then makes you, everything you're doing, you're like, you feel like you've achieved something. So it has a knock on effect of po like wanting yeah. to do positive stuff. It's, it's even, it's, it's making you make other decisions. Like personally, I find it having that discipline now, I'm making other decisions that I wouldn't have made. Like today, I, uh, McDonald's is next to co-op and I was thinking I'm going to get McDonald's and I thought do you know what I'm doing this 10,000 steps a day which kind of makes me feel like I'm being more healthy so mm. I'm going to get a massive sandwich instead yeah. <laughs> but no not as bad as McDonald's yeah. but it's it's the way it kind of gets you in that mindset of the other decisions you're making in your life because I think this whole mm. lockdown has made me make way unhealthier decisions mm. I found it a lot easier to, to set an alarm at 5 in the morning mm. go to the gym at 6 5 days a week when that was a thing mm. but now i'm just feel like i'm not doing much and, and i'm just a bit like Meh. strangely i think before we've spoken about doing like ten thousand day steps a day i think we've kind of laughed it off like a it's not even a challenge we're just just walk it <laughs> yeah. but i think once if you're if you're at a point obviously your motivation for exercise isn't there because you can't go to the gym and do what you want to mm. do my motivation for exercise uh is very rarely yeah anyway. um but yeah, we, we can't do as much and stuff. I think now that is the thing pushing us to do other positive things. And yeah, and I think, I think so like you said, I think it's just as much mental as it is like the physical thing of getting up and, and walking. And if you think, and right, so the last two days, you've only done it two days. So it's the classic, ooh, we're at a high. Uh, is it two days? 
No, probably close to like 15 or 16, right? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, when this comes out, we've been doing it for 16 days. Yeah. Day 13 was my hardest. <laughs> but right, so day one, whenever day one was, mm. first of Feb. Ages ago, I can't even remember. We, like, I, you woke up early and did a 5K walk before, and we messaged each other at like half seven or something. Yeah, and you'd already finished did, 5,000 steps at half seven, I think. Yeah, yeah. I walked to work mm. through a muddy field and got wet feet all day, which is rubbish. <laughs> but, and I did about 7,000. Yeah. And it's... It then makes you make those other good decisions. I think, mm. yeah. And this, this sounds when when gyms are open again, I'm not going to be doing this. I'm going to be going to the gym because that's my thing. Yeah, cheers. But no, no, I mean no. I, if gyms open in Feb, I'm sticking to our challenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think it's we 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 went on a walk on that day last week when we both felt rubbish and thought, what can we do to mm. actually sort of amp I, ourselves up a bit? I think as well. And this stupid little thing of walking mm. ten thousand steps a day, mm. I think. It's already having such a positive impact and I thought it'd be good to talk about. There's also, in the run-up to this challenge, I was kind of trying to see how it could be achievable during my normal busy days. Mm. Because at weekends, I find it quite easy because I like to get out and walk and stuff, Mm. but weekdays, it's hard. And I think for for a lot of people with our sort of lifestyle with work where you're sitting down, I'm starting to realise there's some really cool ways I can get out for a walk and it's... Mm. positively affecting work and stuff so for example we've done when we've had things we need to discuss we do walking meetings oh we need to have like a 20 minute meeting if we don't need to be staring at a screen looking at data or something like that we go out and walk and we come up with way better ideas when we're walking I also I wrote uh, I had to write four or five scripts for short videos um, for a client and Mm. the first pro the first stage of that process I used was I downloaded a new app called Otter. Oh, where did you hear about that? Did you tell me that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. I forgot. It's actually that. really good, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And I basically, I was, I mean, I must have looked mental, but I was walking, just talking to myself, talking through these scripts mm. while I was walking. And then when I got to a good point, I was speaking, narrating it into my phone and it put it into a document for when yeah. I got back. And that, cre- like, I, my... Oh, just punched the oh we haven't punched the mark oh, in a couple a of episodes there you go um yeah that creative process for me i was much more creative than when yeah. i was sitting at my desk and it, it it worked a lot quicker and i enjoyed it and i got my steps yeah in. and i think i just wouldn't have thought of doing that but now not even for oh get some steps in i'm thinking it's more like next time i have to think of creative ideas if i'm yeah. on my own i might just go and ba- basically this sounds weird but just walk and talk to myself because it actually works <laughs> it. I yeah. Might, yeah i might have to be a bit discreet yeah at the moment we're in a industrial in state in man's business so. park that's cold or working from home and mm. no one's around so it's easy but so that's that's one kind of layer of discipline that we've set out mm. in business what do you think we've got made ourselves be disciplined into that that's helped the business because i think it's i think it is about having this discipline to make yourself do something that feels uncomfortable like is there anything that you think we've done in the business that we've had discipline around and made ourselves do it even though it it's more of a ball ache to it's easier to not do it well almost everything (laughs) isn't it yeah what you mean things within the business that like hard, for example for example we have our monthly management meetings where mm-hmm. you have to spend a load of time looking at all our finances to get a load of data that we can analyze to see how mm. we're doing it'd be much easier not to do that mm. that's quite rubbish and boring to do that yeah, but we do that yeah. i have to look through all of our sales mm. data and then present it to you and dad mm. to say how we're doing and yeah when we're not doing very well i have to I say why we're not doing very well and it doesn't almost, it feels rubbish almost every way that we structure things within the business you have to make yourself do it because it's not necessarily what you want to do at the time but it always has a positive effect so like you said having time to discuss certain things or evaluate certain things Mm. it always changes your direction slightly to kind of realign oh hang on we're going a bit off track there we need to change something whereas it's much easier to just go with the flow and i think a lot of business and sometimes we do it for too long with things we go with the flow and then we're kind of like hang on why are we well i think time i think the one trait that you've really brought to this business that's made it had a really positive impact is your whole critical thinking and constantly questioning which is really annoying sometimes but because it's uh it's a good thing but you're constantly questioning everything which helps us then evolve and do things better mm. i think 
I would. Thanks. No, that's good. Mm. I think it is good because I think. Why do you think that? <laughs> well, I know that because you. You're Why con- do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> But no, you're constantly saying, is this, is this the best we could be doing? Why are we doing this? But I think what's good as well, I think previously you thought me questioning things was a negative thing of mm. like kind of saying you're not doing good enough. Mm. But I think now, because I've been doing it for so many years, <laughs> you understand that. Oh, he's not just that, a dickhead. <laughs> yeah. And at h- half the time, the answer is you get to a point where it's like, yeah, yeah, I think we're doing the right thing. We're doing enough. Mm. And that's fine. And then half the time, it's like, no, we need to change something. But it's not like a, yeah, you do, you dickhead. It's like, but yeah, it's, we should. It's, it's questioning yourself like that. I, that I think a lot of businesses don't do. Because hmm. without you here, I'd be plodding along, not doing that, not questioning. And without you here, I would never do anything and I'd <laughs> give away any money I ever <laughs> earn. So so it works out quite well. Happily ever after. Yeah. Um, yeah, cool. walking, yeah. Well, um, there's also on the topic of walking, hmm. um, you were going to say something about someone fainting in a charity walk. Yes. Yeah. I, I just, we were, we were making, oh, I was making notes about stuff to do with walking because I knew we were going to talk mm. about it. And I thought that's something quite funny that happened that's a bit <laughs> weird. So uh, obviously originally I wanted to bring it up because it's a, a, a charity event. <laughs> oh, uh, well, did you organise it? Like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You haven't actually uh, gloated about your charity work for a while, so... Well, because I haven't done it. I wasn't allowed to volunteer at the homeless shelter this year. Oh, you weren't allowed? No. Why not? Criminal record. <laughs> no, no. What, as in they didn't let you? Yeah, because of COVID. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I'll just so have what, to... So, no one... I'll just have to tell all the listeners I wanted to. <laughs> the, That's good enough, The, the good intent was there, so... <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so... Dan and I over the past few years, outside COVID times, have organised a charity walk that's walking 50 kilometres in a day. Mm. Lloyd organised, Dan Ooh. just came. Yep. Uh, yes, but for a while we used to say that we both organised it. <laughs> yeah. um, and r- people get sponsored, raise money for charity, started out three of us. I think at the peak we had like 50 of us or something mm. doing it, didn't we, and raising thousands for charity. Oh, that's a wonderful day. <laughs> um but last time, I mean, I've had to reevaluate. The next time we do it, I'm going to have to look at uh, health and safety a bit closely yeah. because um, three people <laughs> fainted during the day. <laughs> so uh, two of them, basically, we it, it's walking, but it's social as well. And there's, there's pubs on the way. So sometimes people get tempted because you're walking for like, depending on how, About 10 hours? how fit you are, between like oh. 10 and 20. 12 10 and 13 hours mm, there's mm. probably been people that have yeah been that end of the scale yeah um so it get you start at seven in the morning and then you're finishing at like seven eight in the evening or whatever mm. and um so people are qu- quite often like oh we've only got a bit to go let's have a drink but surprisingly like having a, a drink um after walking constantly for 12 <laughs> hours um there was a couple of well one one lady that was quite skinny there wasn't much of her she basically like did the whole walk for like 12 hours and was like oh i had a rovita last tuesday i'll be fine <laughs> yeah. i had like a couple of cereal bars and then down to gin and tonic and then next thing i know i'm kind of walking around and go, oh thanks for organizing this like, oh yeah it's fine i look around and she's just like at a <laughs> table in a pub with her, like, uh. Uh, oh. so, yeah. sorry i realized listeners can't see me but just with her head between her legs unconscious yeah. um johnny's brother was green as well yeah. Oh, one. yeah. He was. Yeah. <laughs> he was that's green. Yeah. So you might think walking's not a challenge, but uh, <laughs> if you do it for long enough and have one alcoholic drink, it makes people fall over. It's actually if you want to try it in Thanet, the Viking Coastal Trail, it's called. Yeah. It's a really good. If you're into walking, mm. give it a go. Well, uh, give the bits a go that aren't on public roads because we couldn't encourage people to walk in the roads, <laughs> as I uh, discovered when organising an event with the local council. <laughs> Thanks, Lloyd. That's all right. Um, but there's some parts that aren't on a public road and they're brilliant to walk on and safe. Is this your uh, terms and conditions voice? Yeah. <laughs> terms and conditions apply. Um, cool. Yeah. Well, good. I just, uh, yeah, that was. So, listeners, oh, we should get listeners to join us doing 10,000 yeah. steps a day. Um, join us. 
Cheers. <laughs> uh, now, if I, I genuinely, if, if one person starts to do this, I think just because the positive impact it, it has. Okay. Well, if anyone wants to do 10,000 steps a day for a bit with us mm. as a challenge, uh, con- just call Lloyd on zero. Kill him. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was the old CLTV number, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yeah. Don't know. Um, Get in touch and we'll set up a WhatsApp group or something like mm. that where we can all post at the end of the day going, oh, I did. Yeah, it could be one of those where there's always one in the group. Oh, what you done? Uh, I've done 22,000 a day, guys. <laughs> yeah. you know, ah, bad off. <laughs> I'm, I'm still on 6,000 and it's yeah. 10 o'clock at night, so I'm yeah. going to have a we'll 11, kids to bed. Gonna have an 11 p.m. walk. Great. <laughs> um, yeah, let us know and we'll get yeah. into that. And Lloyd will never set that up. I cool. will set that up. <laughs> well, no, no, it, I won't, but you will. <laughs> No, definitely let us know if you want to do it because it's going to be good. Hmm. Well, we've already started it. But. No, no, but that that might make us Other. continue. And then yeah, we it could might be the go, March one. Oh, we're going to do 20,000 steps a day. Obviously, the business will and fail then... and I'll be a terrible father because I won't have any time for anything. <laughs> yeah. But Lloyd's walking for 12 hours a day. <laughs> He's not seeing his son. But we could do like weekend challenges where we go, oh, I'm gonna, let's see who can do the most steps this weekend. Yeah. Oh, God, oh, the banter on the group would be brilliant. We can call each other's... Uh, uh, we can put a star where the L is in walkers, so it could be a naughty word. <laughs> oh, God. God, I can just imagine the banter in this group. Oh. So, yeah. Okay, should we wrap it up? Yep. So, walk with us. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening, guys. Bye. <laughs>